Hello and welcome back. Today we are trying to acquire images for our project and you're going to need three different images and there's several different places that you can go to find images for this project. So first um, and probably the safest place is I do have some images for you on Schoology. So if you go into our course into our daily lessons folder and then you choose the unit 11 studio GIMP images in a bottle, you're going to look down to the 11.3 folder. So I'm just going to expand that folder right here. And in there, you'll see the third item down is possible images for project. I'm going to click on that to open it up. And when I open that up, there's lots of different options in here. Um, so we're going to need three options for this project. So I've got two different bottle types. Um, I like this one because it has a cork, so I think I'm going to use this one for my project. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom left, I'm going to hit download. I'm going to put it in my downloads folder. Um, the, I've also seen projects done with a light bulb, so you could possibly put your objects in a light bulb instead. Um, or you could choose the other style bottle that has this different type of latch at the top. Okay, um, You can always find your own as well. And then I think I'm going to, well, I need a water, and this is our, our water option. I did not look for other options of that. So I'm going to download a water option. And then I'm going to decide, do I want to put a ship in the bottle? Or do I want to put a scroll, a message in the bottle? Or a fish in the bottle? And so I have several different options for those items as well. So I'm not sure at this point. So I'm going to download this scroll. and or note and I'm also going to download this example here of a boat and we'll see what works so I have several of these images in my downloads folder however that's not where we want them to be for the project so I am going to go to my file explorer folder and see where it opened it opened over here and you can see that I have several of these images that I just downloaded so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select um, the bottle that I want, the scroll that I want, oops, and I'm going to hold the control button to do this, the water that I want, and my boat that I want to use. So I've got those three, four items. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to copy. Now, I'm going to go and find our course folder. So I know that it is in the document section, so I'm going to click on documents. The more you use it, it will remember, and I have in the quick access, it's right here, but I am going the long way so that you can see. So I know it's in my documents folder, and then over here I can see digital art class, and in my digital art class I can see GIMP image in a bottle. And then I'm going to right click in the white space, and I'm going to click on paste. And all three of those files will start to load into that folder. So now they are in that folder and I can access them. If you have any concerns or questions about that part, please let me know. If you want to, let me minimize this a second. I'm going to go back out here to Schoology. You can always search for your own images. So you can go to Google and we can do an image search. And we can search for maybe you want a larger bottle. Um, so I'm just going to type glass. How about empty glass bottle? And all of these different objects come up. I need something maybe that ship would fit into. That's a nice looking design and shape on that one. Um, not really seeing anything that's interesting that I really like. This might be a fun shape to do and put your ship inside that bottle. So let's try this image here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to open image in a new tab. It's going to open just the image. This is the best quality image of this piece. And I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click save image as. Now, the nice part about doing it this way is I can direct this, instead of going to my download section, I can tell it right now, go to the documents, go to digital art class, go to my project folder, and I can give it a name. 
And since I do have another file, I am going to put a number at the end of this. And I'm going to put a 3 just in case. All right, and so now I have that saved as an image for my possible project. Um, same thing goes for what you want to put inside your bottle. You can kind of decide what you might want that to be. So what if I wanted to build um, a sandcastle? And I want to put a whole sandcastle inside my bottle. So I could do something like this. And I want something that's simple. Some of these are crazy difficult. And I want something that's almost horizontal to fit in my bottle. I think this image is pretty cool. I'm going to try to save this one. Right click, open image in a new tab. Sometimes it's going to work and sometimes it's not. This one looks OK, so I'm going to right click, save image as. I'm going to go into my project folder. So it's documents, digital art class, project. And I'm going to type in sand castle. and that's going to save that for me. Now each of these is a different file format and depending on how the program works this may help us or this may be a hindrance. So having multiple options of images here is not a bad idea. So once you're sure that you have the images that you want to use for the project please make sure that you do go back into your project folder where you have all of them here and visible. I am also going to change my view, I would like these to be icons um, so that I can kind of see what they are. Okay, Not all file formats will allow that. You can see that this one here is not going to allow a preview, um, but the rest of them are. So after you have your view large icons, that's kind of what I want to see. So I'm going to take a screenshot here. I'm going to hold my Windows button, Shift, try this again, Windows Shift S. It brings the shortcut up, shortcut for our snipping tool. I'm going to highlight my images. It'll pop it down here at the bottom. I can click on it. It saves it in my um, clipboard at this point, so I could just paste this right into our sketchbook. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Save button. And this is 11.03. So I'm going to 11.03 and screenshot. And I'll go ahead and hit Save. So I have that screenshot, and then I can use that to submit it properly. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close that. That's all I have for you for today. If you have any concerns or questions about finding the appropriate files that you want to use for this project, please reach out and let me know. Otherwise, enjoy the process.